Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Many, many years ago, as they say, God created Adam. The first thing that Adam created was a cave, real estate. And I can safely say that real estate as a phenomenon is as old as mankind itself. And today is the night to celebrate excellence in the field of real estate. And why not, ladies and gentlemen, real estate in this country is the second greatest employer after agriculture. It contributes about 7 to 8 percent to the GDP of this country. The size is more than 12 billion US dollars. And only through the FDI in the next 10 years, it's going to fetch more than 25 billion dollars. So ladies and gentlemen, we have the lords of the lands right here. But first, I would like to thank Urban Development Minister of our country, Sri Kamal Nath Ji, on behalf of Plan Man Media Group. It's a warm welcome that we extend to you. And today is the launch of this unique coffee table book, a first of its kind in this country, a book which is driven by research of more than 5,000 respondents, over 10 cities. Finally, top 50 brands made it to the list of Star Realty. We are extremely fortunate to be having a message from the office of the Honorable President of the Republic of India. The President of India, Shrimati Pratibha Devi Singh Patil, is happy to know that Plan Man Media is organizing the Star Realty 2011-12 Lords of the Land event in New Delhi on Feb 22, 2012. The realty sector in India has the potential to be a growth driver for other sectors of the economy, thereby contributing to the nation's gross domestic product. It also has the scope to provide employment to a large number of people. The personalities being honored at this event have played a stellar role in giving a profile to the real estate industry. The President extends her warm greetings and felicitations to all those who are associated with the event and wishes the event every success. A big applause and a gratitude to the President of India, Srimati Pratibha Devi Singh and now, without taking further time, I would like to call upon stage the man who is the vision behind Star Realty, the Managing Director of Plan Man Consulting Group, the Honorary Director of the IAPM Think Tank. Ladies and gentlemen, with a big applause, please welcome Professor Arindam Chaudhary on the stage, please. Thank you so much, Rohit, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Many people today take India and China's name in the same breath. The last time when I went to Shanghai, I was standing on their seafront. There was this gentleman who was showing me Shanghai. And he showed me this entire skyline, the Shanghai skyline, which today actually beats the New York skyline hands down. Standing there, he says that, guess what, Arindam? I said, what? He said, 21 years back, there was not a single building across this riverfront. And it was all plain land. And today, this miracle that you see is 21 years. That's it. And opposite that road is this row of wonderful buildings, which instantly remind you of Geneva. The only difference is each building of Geneva has been taken almost and made five times bigger. In Austria, the main road which, um, which has the most beautiful buildings, Chinese have bought the architectural patent and rights, you know, to make the Austrian main road in one of the Chinese cities. In Delhi, if we all sleeplessly work for the next 20 years, probably we won't be able to make it as gigantic and as huge as Beijing. You know, you go to a place like Guangzhou, as you travel, you can actually travel for two hours without crossing the same road again, and you will see the most massive of buildings, the tallest of structures, and housing row after row. That's the kind of possibility that this country provides. Simply because we have a similar population, and I think that if the government really takes care of what I call the survival of the weakest, the people who do not have purchasing power, the lower middle class, the poor, and the middle class, that's the future of real estate. As an economist and a son of an economist, I've 
grown up hearing his calculations on how India must be slum free. You go to China and you realize that there is no slum in any of their top 20 cities. And uh, the kind of housing they're provided, it's just one room housing, but you know, that's a massive, massive market. So what I believe is that we have done a stunning job in real estate sector till now, but I also believe that looking at China, the possibilities that India has to offer in the next 20 years, and where this sector is poised to reach, is baffling. And all I understand is, the brilliant minds who are sitting out here, I'm sure they have their own vision, but um, they must be sitting together and planning and meeting Mr. Kamal Nath very often and telling, you know, the middle class needs money so that we can grow and meeting the prime minister very often to see to it that we have policies which are pro-poor or middle class and pro the middle class so that they keep getting purchasing power and the way things are, they are destined to get more purchasing power and this sector is um, destined to create many, many more miracles. With this hope and belief and inspiration, I hope that we all keep drawing from a neighboring country which till 1960 was actually behind us. In the last 30 odd years has skyrocketed ahead of us where we have, we have actually, we are nowhere in comparison to them. Um, I think we've got a massive dream to chase and lots of things yet to do. Thank you so much. Most welcome all of you and I wish all of you a great evening and a great future. Thank you so much. I would now like to call upon the stage with a very big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Mr. Kamal Nath. Now the time has come to unveil the book, Star Realty. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I kindly invite on stage Ms. Shabnam Singhal, Ms. Rasil Gujral Ansal, Mr. Naveen Ansal, Mr. Sanjay Khanna, Mr. Harshwardhan, Mr. Anil Kumar Sharma, Pranav Ansal, Mr. Vidhur Bhardwaj, Mr. Rohtash Gold, and Mr. Prashant Tiwa. It is a pleasure to be with you this evening at the launch of the book, Star Reality by Planned Men, for recognizing the contribution of the captains of the real estate sector to India's growth story. We are celebrating this year 20 years of India's reforms. For your information, China started uh, about 16 years ahead of us in its reform process. We started in 1991 when Dr. Manmohan Singh was the finance minister. And India from then embarked on a completely new trajectory where growth was to be driven by the private sector. The opportunities not only in our mega cities, but in cities which um, are growing, which are smaller cities, our municipalities, our municipal corporations, our Nagar Panchayats, 10 to 50,000 people, which are the Nagar Panchayats, they are growing where the value of land was, was nothing. Now the value of land is, is increasing. And here, you just don't have to be developers, you'll have to be visionaries to see the great challenges which lie ahead. What are the new models of doing business? India is changing very rapidly. Government's resources are limited. When we started PPP, public-private partnerships, I remember, when we were launching this huge program on roads, everybody said that this is not going to work. Today, the PPP model is the model for building our national highways. So this will be the preferred model because government will not have all the resources. 
and take the example of Delhi. Now, DDA can't build all the houses. Of course, we need to build houses for the economically weaker section. And that's the only way we'll be able to bring about a change in Delhi from our Joki Jopris, our unauthorized colonies. With the number of people coming into Delhi, the DDA will have to build at least, and that's the target I've set, one lakh houses for the economically weaker sections. We will announce this participatory policy which works. Government sometimes has a habit of announcing a policy which does not fly. Of course, there has to be returns. It has to make business sense to all of you. Now, we want middle income group, even the low income group housing, to make business sense to all of you. And that's why we are framing a policy which is going to make business sense. I thought I should not talk to you all first what should be the, the best policy. I thought I'll talk to the financiers. I talked to the financial institutions, talk to the banks. What will you finance? Will you finance such a policy? And only when the banks tell me that they will finance it and the financial institutions tell me they'll finance it, then I'll do a small consultation process with you all. But then I know it will fly. And I can tell you that I've already checked with the financial institutions. I started the reviewing of the Delhi master plan. And I decided that we should make it a participatory process. The Delhi master plan cannot be made in offices. And we've set up a website. I have received myself, I think, 300 or 400 uh, suggestions. The DDA has received about 1,500. And each one of them I'm putting up into the website so that there is a public discourse on this. And I will request all of you, you have great understanding of the subject, to send your suggestions. You can send them to me, you can send them to DDA. And if you don't see it on the website, that this is what you have sent, and this is how we are going to respond, well, please get back to me. I want to make it as people's participation in it as much as possible. So as this sector grows, as the real estate sector grows, you yourself have challenges. You yourself have challenges of delivering faster and better, improving quality and productivity. As India has changed the last 20 years, how much has our construction methods changed? How do we make buildings which are sustainable and low carbon buildings? What are the certification levels? These are areas where you would have to reflect upon. And as the future, as we grow, as we move on, these are the huge challenges because all of you here are great contributors to India's growth and its growth momentum. So before I conclude, I'd like to congratulate Plan Man Media. Particularly, I want to congratulate Professor Arindam Chaudhary for his great leadership of IIPM and Plan Man. And I want to congratulate all the business leaders who are participants in India's growth story and particularly the award winners. Thank you. We would begin with our first set of award ceremony. The first awards are called the Pioneers of Real Estate. Dr. Anil Kumar Sharma is the Chairman and Managing Director of Amrapali Group. A dynamic, young and effervescent entrepreneur, Mr. Prashant Devari founded the Prateek Group in 2005. Mr. Rotas Goel founded Omax India Private Limited in 1989. An absolute perfectionist, he has taken the company to great heights. Next category is for the Future Herald Award. The first recipient, Mr. Pranav Ansar. Mr. Vidur Bhagwan. Next 
बेस्ट अवार्ड मिस्टर मनोज गौड़ मिस्टर एन के पटेल मिस्टर गीतांबर आनंद द नेक्स्ट मिस्टर अभिषेक लोढ़ा मिस्टर ऋषभ एन पटेल Ravi Menon The next award goes to Mr Dharmesh Charodia Mr Dharmendra Chauhan Mr Pujit Agarwal Mr. Mukesh Bhai Patel and Himmat Patel. Please welcome on stage Mr. Sunil Kumar Jindal. Next award Mr. Paras Pandit. Mr Sushil Mantri Friends next are the Mughal e Azam award The first Mughal e Azam award Mr Ramesh Chandra chairs India's second largest listed property company Unitec Mr Sushil Ansal the man behind the success of Ansel Properties and Infrastructure Limited he was the first individual to make inroads Mr Jay Prakash Gaur is among the leading real estate tycoons of India he founded the JP Group in 1958 Mr Suresh Raheja considered as one of the trusted names in the Mumbai real estate business he has consistently delivered quality projects Mr PNC Menon established Sobha Developers in Bangalore in 1995 pronounced the finest builder that India has seen in the last 100 years